This video is on integration using residues. In today's video, we have to find out the poles of the function f of z is equal to z square by z minus 1 into z minus 2 whole square and the residues at these poles. See here, the function is given as f of z is equal to this is z square by z minus 1 into this is z minus 2 whole square. So, in order to find out the poles, we have to equate the denominator to 0. That is z minus 1 into this is z minus 2 whole square is equal to 0. So, if I equate z minus 1 to 0 and here again z minus 2 whole square is equal to 0. So, here z is equal to 1 and here see here z is equal to 1 is a simple pole. So, this is a simple pole and here z is equal to 2 is a pole of order 2. It is a pole of order 2. And now we have to find out the residues here. So, we have to residues of these poles. So, in order to find the residues of these poles, first of all, the residue of f of z. See here, residue of f of z at z is equal to that pole z is equal to 1 is equal to see here the point it will be limit z tends to 1 see here limit z tends to 1 this is z minus 1 into f of z that is limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 and what is f of z value here f of z value is nothing but this is z square by z minus 1 into this is z minus 2 square clear and now I'll cancel the z minus 1 and I'll substitute z is equal to 1. So if I substitute z is equal to 1 so this will be 1 minus 2 whole square. So obviously this is 1 by 1 minus 2 square is nothing but 1. Therefore we got the residue of f of z. See here the residue of f of z at pole z is equal to 1 is the value here is 1 and next one here we have a pole of order 2 so z is equal to 2 is a pole of order 2 now in order to find the residue for the pole z is equal to 2 see for the pole we have to find the residue of f of z at z is equal to 2 is a pole of order 2. So, we have a formula here that is residue of. So, this is residue of f of z at point z is equal to z naught. Here is limit z tends to z naught. The formula here is limit z tends to z naught that is 1 by m minus 1 factorial into d by dz power m minus 1 into this is z minus z naught power m into f of z into f of z. So, in this we have to substitute z is equal to. So, m value order is equal to 2. See here the order value. So, order m is equal to 2 and pole here is. So, pole is also 2. Now, if I substitute. So, this will be residue of f of z at z is equal to 2 is limit z tends to 2 this is 1 by pole is also 2 this is 2 minus 1 factorial and d by dz power this value is 2 minus 1 into the pole here is 2 into f of z clear f of z and now this value is equal to this is limit z tends to 2 see here 2 minus 1 is 1 factorial it is 1 and here this value is d by dz of z minus 2 into what is f of z value so f of z is nothing but here see here this value is a z square z square by this is z minus 1 into here so this is power m m value here is 2 so this is a z minus 2 square clear so here the value here is m so m is nothing but 2 now we have to cancel these two see here so this value is equal to limit z tends to 2 d by dz of the derivative we have to find out that is z square by z minus 1 so this is uh, which rule uv rule so the derivative of u by v is nothing but first we have to make a square for v square 
we we have to leave for you we have to make a derivative again we have to leave you and we have to make a derivative for v so this is u and this is v so if you substitute in this formula see this will be limit z tends to 2 first we have to make the square for v that is z minus 1 square and again we have to leave this v that is z minus 1 Again, we have to make a derivative for u. So, here u is nothing but 2z minus. Again, we have to leave this u. So, this is z square. And again, we have to make a derivative for v. So, which is equal to 1. And again, we have to substitute 2 in this. So, this will be 2 minus 1. Again, 2 2 is a 4 minus. So, z square, this is 4 value. And again, this value is 2 minus 1 square. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, here the value here is 2 minus 1. So, this value is 4 minus 1 by this is 1. So, plus 4 and minus 4 got cancelled. And here the residue value of f of z is equal to 2. So, here the residue of f of z at pole z is equal to 2 of order 2 is, is nothing but 0. So, here we got the value as 0. First of all, we have to find out the poles. In order to find out the poles, we have to equate the denominator to 0. So, here z minus 1 into z minus 2 square is equal to 0. Here, we got z is equal to 1, which is a simple pole. And z is equal to 2 is a pole of order 2. And see, we have to find out the residues of f of z at point at pole z is equal to 1. So, here limit z tends to 1, z minus 1 into f of z. So, this is z minus 1 into what is f of z value? f of z value is nothing but z square by z minus 1 into z minus 2 whole square. So, if I substitute z is equal to 1 here, the value here is 1. And next, in order to find the pole of order 2, so here is the formula residue of f of z at z is equal to z naught is nothing but limit z tends to z naught 1 by m minus 1 factorial into d by dz power m minus 1 into z minus z naught power m into f of z. Here the order the value is 2 and the pole is also 2 that is limit z tends to 2 1 by 2 minus 1 factorial d by dz power 2 minus 1 z minus 2 square into f of z. So if I cancel z minus 2 square and if I make a derivative for one time and again substitute z is equal to 2 and we got the value of uh, the residue value of f of z at z is equal to 2 as 0. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like this video, please practice and definitely you can score more in the examination and kindly pass it on to your friends.